a new Super Bowl contender has emerged. I truly thought this was our year. I was tragically wrong. We're not just bad, we're embarrassing. Power poisons the heart. This one Beckham has wrong. to wait. Got his feet down. Touchdown. After the score is over, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 13. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He owns your ass. And you created he's a, it. He's a it's selfish guy. He has no class. You know, it's like a dog. I'm getting sick of him. Of all the things you could have done, that's what came to your mind. I'm getting sick of his idiocy, his immaturity. I thought it was, for lack of a better term, I thought it was gross. Detroit showing blitz. They rush four, and there's a whistle. Now they have to take the field goal. A sloppy quarterback play. Did he sound like somebody concerned about alienating his star quarterback? Good luck reading two wings with this guy. Your eyeballs tell the story. The offensive line sucks. Period. That's my stat. You want a stat? You want sabermetrics? Offensive Don look at Don Lecrec tweeted last night or said on the Michael K show. Offensive line stinks. Can Eric Flowers play left tackle? Eric Flowers is so bad. It's just bad. So bad. I, I, I just don't know how you can continue to allow him to steal the team. My answer is no. It's football. I've been watching it for 40 years. 40, 40 years. That's one of the worst offensive lines I've ever seen. They look like straight garbage. You can't win like this. Giants, and you literally wanted to throw us. Look at Eli Apple. Look at him. He wants no part of it. He flat out quit. You're a New York Giant. This is absolutely unacceptable. The Giants have become a laughing stock. What an atrocity! How did you reward that loyal fan base was there? One of the most putrid performances I've ever seen. Total disgrace. They quit off a bye week. The team that you put out on the field doesn't even try. Um, what an utter embarrassment. But this is getting ugly. It is ugly. It's, it's, it's hard to watch, to be honest. Said one player who asked to be anonymous, Ben McAdoo is not a leader. That is a team that has packed it in. As for the defense, Janoris Jenkins, tackling was optional. Yeah, Don't say optional, Dan. Embarrassing. Third. Talk about lack of effort, lack of toughness. This is why the Giants are so terrible. Because that guy is a disgrace to the uniform. Do you want players on your team that are going to check out? Hey, coach, they're quitting on all the coaches. And they're quitting on themselves. And this is the team that made the Giants look like a junior varsity. This is a defense that's completely given up. The whole team quit. They don't want to tackle. You're not embarrassed by that? Then what the hell would embarrass you? You let CJ Beathard be too. The time we should be ashamed of himself. My sentiments are totally with Eli Man. I'm very upset about what I heard. This is Derek Jeter of the of, of, of the Giant. Hard, you know, hard day in the handlers, but uh, you know, hang in there and figure it out. This is a disgrace. The most classless thing I've ever seen the Giants do. He's not good enough to play for your two and nine Giants. He only led you to two Super Bowls against the New England Patriots. This is what they did to this guy. They made this guy a pinata, and they made this guy the scapegoat for this season. Ben McAdoo, your history, Jerry Reese, you're right with it. I have none other than to say good riddance. He deserves to be gone. Once everything hit the fan. Why not fire him then? It was really more of a case of being 2-10. and ten. The one thing left to root for for the Giants season. You ruined it by snapping a streak. Clown. 
clown show. You're going to tweet out A during a game, which is clearly against the rules. He's cheering for a guy who scores a touchdown against the Giants because the guy's an Ohio State Buckeye. And forget about dumb. Dumb and tone deaf. But that first pick, I don't think we don't. We, he's a cancer. No life skills at all, cannot handle criticism at all, and has been an absolute outright bust. And the next GM and the next coach is just going to cut him loose.